In fact, we come into contact with many different types of magnetic materials in our daily lives, but they are often hidden within the casing of machines. For example, the speaker of a phonograph, the antenna of a radio, and the drive of a hard drive disk all use different magnetic materials for operation. Usually, we classify magnetic materials into two types, soft magnetic and hard magnetic. In this video, we will explore these two different magnetic materials and how they work in daily life and industrial equipment. Soft magnetic materials are very easily magnetized, but they are also quickly demagnetized after the external magnetic field is removed. They typically have high electrical conductivity and low coercivity, which means they can respond easily to changes in external magnetic fields and readily change their own magnetic state. Pure iron is the simplest soft magnetic material with very weak magnetic properties. The chemical composition of pure iron is mainly iron, which contains a small amount of carbon and other impurity elements. The magnetic properties of pure iron can be adjusted through heat treatment, such as annealing, which can change its magnetic properties. In terms of application, pure iron is mainly used to make iron cores for electrical appliances, such as motors, transformers, and electromagnets. It has a high eddy current loss, so it is only suitable for DC magnetic cores. Silicon steel is a special steel used to make magnetic cores for motors and other equipment. Compared to pure iron, silicon steel has lower power loss and higher magnetic permeability. It is an iron alloy with a silicon content of 1 to 4.5% and a carbon content of less than 0.08%. Although it has a better effect than pure iron, its brittle material makes processing difficult and easily damaged. Ferrites contain metals such as nickel, zinc, or manganese, which can lead to low coercivity. This type of ferrite is generally referred to as soft ferrite. Ferrites are mostly semiconductors, with a much higher electrical resistivity than general metal magnetic materials, which results in less eddy current loss. Due to their relatively low losses at high frequencies, they are widely used as the core of transformers and inductors, such as switch mode power supplies and ring rod antennas used in AM radios. Hard magnetic materials have high remanence and high coercivity. This means that once hard magnetic materials are magnetized, they will remain in this state. Even after the external magnetic field disappears, they will remain magnetic. Therefore, hard magnetic materials are also known as permanent magnetic materials. Compared to soft ferrite, hard ferrite has high coercivity and high remanence after magnetization. Iron oxide and barium carbonate or strontium carbonate are used in manufacturing of hard ferrite magnets. The maximum magnetic field is about 0.35 tesla and the magnetic field strength is about 30 to 160 kiloampere turns per meter. Although the performance of ferrite is much worse than that of rare earth magnets, its sufficiently cheap price makes it widely used in daily applications such as refrigerator magnets. Iron chromium cobalt is known as the transformer in permanent magnet materials. This material has excellent ductility and is easy to metal process, which is a huge advantage compared to other permanent magnet materials. Due to this characteristic, it can be used to make components with a minimum size of approximately 0.05 mm. This makes it applicable in various micro devices, such as micro motors, micro relays, etc. It contains 20% to 33% chromium, 3% to 25% cobalt, 3% molybdenum, and 0.7% to 1% silicon. Its disadvantage is that its magnetic properties are not strong, and the maximum magnetic energy product is only about 6 mega gauss ersteds. Samarium cobalt magnet is a collective term for the first and second generation rare earth permanent magnets which have high coercivity and corrosion resistance, and can operate at temperatures up to 250 to 350 degrees Celsius. Samarium cobalt magnets are commonly used in heavy duty and high temperature applications, such as marine motors and generators, and train traction motors. 
The content of samarium and cobalt in samarium cobalt magnets accounts for 70 to 80 percent. The high prices of these two materials have led to higher manufacturing costs. The price of samarium cobalt magnets with the same size and magnetism is 1.5 to 2 times that of neodymium iron boron magnets. Neodymium magnet is a permanent magnet made of an alloy of neodymium, iron, and boron. It is the third generation rare earth permanent magnet material and currently the most magnetic and strongest magnet. It has the characteristics of high remnants and high magnetic energy product, which makes it widely used in various devices. The maximum magnetic energy product of neodymium magnets is 52 mega gauss ersteds, while that of samarium cobalt magnets is 32 mega gauss ersteds, indicating that the magnetism of neodymium magnets is much higher than that of the previous generation. Each new energy electric vehicle requires approximately 2.5 kilograms of neodymium magnets, which is mainly used for manufacturing components such as drive motors, ABS, EPS, etc. This material can significantly improve motor energy efficiency and reduce energy loss, and is currently one of the essential materials for manufacturing energy-efficient motors. Although the performance of neodymium magnets is impressive, the maximum operating temperature is approximately 230 degrees Celsius. Working at high temperatures can lead to a decrease in performance, thereby reducing the operational efficiency of the machine. Both soft and hard magnetic materials have extensive applications in various industries and are an indispensable part of modern life. Soft magnetic materials and hard magnetic materials are usually used in combination. In power transformers, soft magnetic materials are used to manufacture the iron core of the transformer, while hard magnetic materials are used to provide a stable magnetic field. In electric motors, soft magnetic materials are used to manufacture stator windings, while hard magnetic materials are used to manufacture rotors. By combining soft and hard magnetic materials, we can achieve efficient energy transmission, conversion, and control, providing important support for the energy and industrial development of modern society. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you think the video is good, please give us like and follow us. Your support is the best encouragement for us. If you are interested in our products, you can also browse our website or contact us. See you next time.